Hello? I'm looking for the Sanctum Spiritus Beatus. Uh, I heard you could make people happy. I was wondering if that was true. Welcome! Welcome! This is the Sanctum Spiritus Beatus, the Sanctum of Joy. Here we can save the woes and troubles of your life, make you smile once again, rekindle that fire. What is your name, my lad? Uh, Miles. Miles F. Bolin. Well, Miles. Hope you don't mind me calling you Miles. No, that's fine. This is the Sanctum, a place of joy. Here we envision the creation of a way to have people be happy always using our own special treatment. We spent years mastering to bring you the utmost satisfaction to life. What treatments do you use? Woolly hearts. My lad, here we are just to make you happy and satisfied with your life. Hurting you will only make things worse. And and make things much harder on ourselves. Here we'd only want you to be able to leave here with a smile on your face and a new happier outlook about life. Okay, but still, how do you make people happy? Here we use techniques that allow your body and mind to separate from the harsh reality of the real world, developing your mind into a state of complete euphoria. Then we'll ground you again. If we're successful, you can go out there with your happier life. If we fail, we'll do it again. Now, may I take some information from you? Log check date, 06, 09, 2019. Today I've received a new patient. A kindly chap called Miles. Full name, Miles Franklin Paulin. Patient code name is 5M1L35. He's a rather meek and insecure fellow. So treatment may take a while, possibly more than one attempt, but I'm sure we won't need to go take drastic measures. We will begin his treatment in a couple of days. We just, we're just letting him settle into the sanctum and get used to his living quarters first and this proved quite successful. And, you know, with other patients. Uh, we will begin with the first technique, visual and auditory hypnotism. But for now, I wish Lord good luck. I hope he finds joy in his heart. Oh, well, Miles, I had a chat with my superior and he said you would be a perfect fit for the sanctum. How about we begin the first procedure? Uh, oh, okay. What is it? Hmm. Ah, well, we're going to start off gently. We, we, we'd have, you, you know, look at some videos and sounds. Nothing big. This can immediately send people to the weightless, euphoric state. Um, I, I'd hate to be a burden. I, I don't really understand. Could you explain it a little more for me? <laughs> Put it simply, my chap. Uh, we use many d um, different methods to attempt to uh, disengage your subconscious from your conscience. So, whilst you still breathe and your organs still work, we can treat your thinking mind, remove all traces of doubt throughout our methods. It can be hypnotism, psychotherapy, or on rare occurrences, uh, chemical. Um, we have a plethora of other methods, but these always work. Will it help? Of course not, my lad. Um, you conscious, your conscious mind deals with such negativity and that will be disconnected. So, if we ever need to go into direct disconnection, um, you won't even be able to process it. Oh, right, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it, it's just pictures and noise, I'm not uncomfortable with that. Oh, but that's perfect, my boy. We'll start up as soon as humanly possible. Get it, shall we? 
All I'm saying, focus on the screens, my boy. That will help with the treatment. Maybe the first milestone to that past of joy. The screen, my lad, is the key to joy, the source of this happiness. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I can't focus on it. That's fine, my boy. Maybe it's just wasn't your path. Log check date, 1509-2019. Patient 5M1L35 has responded to all of the tests with failure after failure. The hypnotism therapy was not plausible due to the poor fellow's attention span, causing him to not dissociate. But he did show signs of recalibration as he was seemingly in pain. And that's what made him refuse the treatment. Psychotherapy was a failure. <laughs> the fellow didn't want to open it, being too meek to work with. Even the ink blots were a failure, as I saw nothing in them. Even chemical treatment didn't work. The elixir he took made him vomit instantly and violently, seemingly as if it is a meaning to him. Uh, two, two per day, Administrator. And we did it for two days with a day break. Uh, it's clear, Doctor. We need to use more extreme methods to give him the joy he desires. I am. But that, that could harm him. It, it could be dangerous. We, we've, we've never used these methods. It goes against obtrusive promise of the organization. Doctor, you said it. Very, very well. What method do you want us to try? I'd recommend starting gentle. We will send you the supplies for a more harsh and more socially compliant hypnotism. We will also send a woman for a transorbital lobotomy in the event that the hypnotism doesn't work. Simply place the needle above the eye and tap it with the hand into the prefrontal lobe. This should increase compliance at the risk of removing personality, memories, No. No. I, I, I see no problem. Compliance hallucination, and if not, a transorbital lobotomy. I, I understand. Good. This patient has taken too long of our time. So either deal with him quick, or we will become harsher. Complete your work, Doctor. Attend to your patient. Y yes. What is it, my friend? I don't think any of the treatments are working. Like, I've gotten glimpses of what you said, it's just... I just don't think it's gonna work anymore. I was wondering if I could just check out and go. Miles, you, you can't just check out of here even if you wanted to. Even if I wanted to. My superior wants us to continue the work on you. They believe you are close to being given joy. You deserve it. So we have, we have some new videos and some new techniques to try out. Can we just try two more procedures? Just, just two more. Good, good my boy. This is gonna be excellent. What are these new tests exactly? The first one, like I said, we've got some new videos. But the second one, I, I can't really say, you, you're just gonna have to trust me. To trust me, to trust me. <laughs> yes, yes my boy. <laughs> Keep looking at the screen. Let the joy take over. Let it seep into your mind. <laughs> I'm trying. It's, it's not. 
<laughs> I can feel it. I can see it. I can smell it. I can taste it. it it's, it's not. It's just, uh. It's too far away. I could see you was almost there, my boy. But your mind is rejecting it. Your body rejects all joy. It's like just refusing it. Every single time, whenever we try, it will just reject it. We will start the second test after a period of rest. Go a little bit of a reward, my boy. Drink up. Oh, that's really good. I, I, I'm not much of a drinker, but this is amazing. What, what is it? Well, my boy, it's, uh, it's a bit of a concoction I made up. Some rum, brandy, a little bit of vodka in there just to spice things up, bit of pop and kettle Thanks for that, Doctor. Hey, you too. Rest well. Ooh. That worked quicker than expected. Ah! Mm. Good morning, Miles. Did you sleep well? Mm. Thought you did. You ended up falling asleep as soon as you left my office. So, this is the second procedure. Are we ready? Shh. No, we wouldn't want that, would we, my lad? You could take your eye out. Now! Shall we begin? Shouldn't take too long. So, we've got a little teeny bit of bone to get out of the way. Just sit back. And relax, let me deal with it. Do you mind if I... No, of course you don't. All right, we've made our way in. Now you may feel a little bit of numbness, not physically, but mentally, emotionally. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. <sighs> Now that was complete euphoria. How are you, Miles? Feeling better? Yeah. I feel quite good too, actually. So. Or your log. Doesn't even matter. The case of Miles. I'm still waiting for the results of the botany. He was not cooperative during the testing, but it could be an apparent success. I've. Hey, Miles. How you doing? You should be free from your everlasting sorrow. So, how are you feeling? I don't know. Come again? I just don't know. What do you mean, I don't know? I literally replaced a part of your fucking mind. I just don't know. Feel, all right? I don't know anymore. This is your doing. Mars, I want what's best for you. Okay? I... I just... Why, why are you being so stubborn? Why are you... Why are you being difficult? I did everything I was told. For you, I had a clean record. But now because of you, it's patient blood on my hands. 
dark. I think I'm finally feeling something. Perfect. Tell me, my boy. Please. Anger. Rage. Pain. Torment. After all you put me through. The videos which made me feel like I was going mad. The tests which made me feel wrong for feeling down. The chemicals you made me take which made my insides burn. To this day that fire still fucking burns. Eating away. After all that, instead of admitting defeat, you decide to dig inside my head for a solution. <laughs> Do no harm. All that just fly outside your mind, hmm? Miles! Miles, my boy, I, I did everything I was asked. Um, look, you get more confident, your uneasiness is gone, you're so close to you. I don't care how close I am. You've been a waste of my time and a waste of my energy. Now look where that's got us. I don't know if you gave me brain damage or if you broke me entirely, but either way, I am done with you. Miles, Miles, look, if we just go back to the videos one more time, I'm sure we can figure something out. I thought I dead. I don't care anymore, Doctor. You broke me. I'm done with you. Everything you've ever done has led up to this. How many people were there before me? Hmm? How many people did you strip away from their humanity? See if I can solve your woes, Doctor. Sit tight. I wouldn't want to tear your eye out.